Man, this summer's gonna fry my scrotum. Let's get a beer. You can't get beer. You wanna watch me? Hey, what do you think of that blue car right there? What, that? Yeah. You are not driving up to college in those wheels, okay? Yeah, well, I may not be getting into college. But psych department's impacted. Hey, buddy, of course you're gonna get in. You're going to college, all right? But just not in that. That thing has been on sale for going on three years now for one reason. Baby's got a poon deflector shield, okay? Come on. Just don't worry so much, okay? My grandpa, my grandpa told me he used to do this all the time when he was a kid. Oh, he told me a joke. Okay. <laughs> Why does a dog lick his balls? Because he can't. No. Because have you ever tasted a dog's balls? They're delicious. <laughs> that's not how the joke goes. I know that. But that's why Grandpa's a genius, okay? He takes yeah. jokes that you know, and then he gives them alternate endings, all right? That's funnier. It's weirder. Hey, Ken, Marty. Honey, look. What? <laughs> Susie. Hey, ladies. Hi. Hi. Hey. Do you want a beer? Come on. Sure. No. Julia, come on. Give that to my up here. Thanks. No. Betty, come on. Give it to me. I'll finish it later. Boys, I can't sell you this beer. Um, no, sir. In the state of Illinois, it is illegal for minors to purchase beer products, imitation or otherwise. Ken Worthy, you can't get drunk on near beer, okay? So give me a goddamn break. I just get both of you. Goddamn white trash. What'd you say? The other day, your mama comes in here, bought beer on a Sunday before noon. Trash comes from trash. Yeah, all right, okay, okay, okay. All right. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Now let's go. You'll see us again. Fuck yourself in the ass, Kenworthy. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. Man, I'm gonna miss this one. We had many good times together. Teens feel inadequate to cope with situations. They may become angry. Managing this anger may require therapy. I require therapy. Mike, no offense to your chosen profession, but if you ask me, psychology causes people to have mental problems. Okay? Well, how do you figure? Well, <laughs> I mean, I figure because before there was psychology, did anyone go to psychologists? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay? You know, Lenny, I really don't think we should be doing this. Come on. Oh. Too late, okay? That ass in there called us trailer trash. Now, I promised you a beer, and I intended one for your mom, and a lake never breaks his promises. Now, turn around and give me a minute. Give me a minute. Goodbye, darling. Remember the good times? Smoke bomb military issue. Let's roll. Sweet. Oh, shit, Lenny, that blow doll's on fire. I thought you said that was a smoke bomb. Well, I wish it was exact science, Mikey. I did. Oh my God, there's a woman in there. Ugh. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. I'll get you out. Shit! Your mouth! Your mouth! Come on, let's go! Oh, Jesus Christ! 
Christ, Lynn Kenworthy's on fire! Big deal. Ho hos or ding dongs? What? Put me out! Ho hos or ding dongs, which one does your mom like better? I don't give a fuck. Twinkies, come on! Okay, well, it better be Twinkies, because I'm getting them. What are you doing? I thought we were just getting beer! Yeah, we're gonna risk incarceration for near beer and Twinkies. That's called stupid mind. Just trying to. Come on! Please! Come on! Get them water You're not thieves, okay? I'll pay for my near beer. You, man! Wait! You stop! What? Look, the cops okay. are here! Hey, 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 don't panic, Mr. Psychology. They ain't seen a dick! Those are the guys that burned my dad! Go! For stealing near beer? We wasn't shooting at you, you little shithead. We were shooting off to the side just to scare you. What are you, uh, what are you talking about, Kyle? You, you wasn't shooting right at him, were you, Darren? Well, of course I was. Oh. Come on, what am I supposed to do? I see you firing away. I joined in. That's my job. It ain't your job to execute shoplifters. Oh, What's Christ. wrong with you, man? You know what? Why don't you just give me a hand signal next time? We're just cops, Dawson. Right. I'll give you a okay, signal next time. time. I'll punch don't you right in the nose. Don't get me in front of the suspects. Let's get right to it, shall we? Your, Your Honor, uh, my, cli my, my client, uh, my clients have received a uh, copy of the, the complaint. Um, th their true names appear thereon, and they waive uh, formal, for formal reading of, of the charges. They enter a plea of <laughs> guilty. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute, counselor. Did you say guilty or not guilty? Yes. Uh, moment, please. Mm. Uh, not guilty, Your Honor. Oh, well, fine. A uh, bail recommendations? I think that custom is peace. Judge, in light of the nature of the crimes, arson, public endangerment, and staging a false homicide, I think that fifty thousand dollars is reasonable. We request. 45, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, since my son and his friend have no prior record, I think that bail is unnecessary. Is that right? This was a very serious crime. On the other hand, we have no dead bodies here. It compels me to let these boys out on their own cognizance. Your Honor. Uh, 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 Mrs. Bronco, can you tell me that under your motherly guidance, these two stand a chance to make something of themselves. Oh, yes, Your Honor. My son will be attending college in the fall. Well, court rules that there's no bail at this time. The next uh, court session in this matter will happen on August what? 5th. You understand anything of what I said? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Next case. Pickle versus Bobby Calhoun. No chewing gum. Mom, please don't be mad. I don't want to talk to you right now, Mikey. Our lawyer was hammered. Well, the sober attorneys are out of our price range, especially now. Well, what do you mean, Mrs. B? I got fired from the retirement home today. Mom, come on. I'm sorry. So why did they fire you? It's a long story. Let's deal with your problem first. Well, I sort of have a solution to the problem, uh, Mrs. B. Grandpa Ron? I mean, he is the best lawyer in town since he got out of jail, and uh, I bet he'll give us a break. Lenny, you don't get a break when you deal with your Grandpa Ron. You get broke. We just need some cash for a decent attorney. Linda, let me discipline the boy in my own manner, please. Macho said to me, you get a new fitting and we'll put you in a grudge match. You know how long I've been waiting to get in a grudge match, huh? 
a hell of a long time. But a fitting takes money, a new appliance takes money, and now you want the money I set aside for my career? Well, I'm not gonna let you blow this for me, boy. No way. No way in hell. Hey, Mrs. B, you used to be a cheerleader. You were hot. Lenny, would you just shut your hole, okay? Now tell me something. Would it help you if I stuck with you every day to make sure you don't turn out to be an asshole? And how would that keep me from becoming an asshole? <laughs> Goddamn, boy, I have had enough. Oh, you're a smart mouth, young man. Ah, Jesus Christ! Just... You really hit me. What the hell did you that for? You bet I did. Ow! Why was this gonna scare the boy? Hey, no, Mom, just stop, okay? Dad's dealing with career frustration issues. Listen, the boy's trying to get into college. Give him the money! I mean, why not you, huh? Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. You can't even hold down a job! Now, hold on, Dan. Don't attack Mom's inadequacy issues. Inadequate? Here is the man who refuses six, ten months oh, before a stupid go. wrestling match! Mom, that is not look. Okay, Dad may have performance anxiety or casual. Whoa, 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 I am not the crazy one here. She is the crazy one. Now, crazy is inappropriate terminology. Get out. You steroid-eating gorilla! Just go to bed with one of your homely ladies of wrestling! You think I didn't know? Pig. Now, wait, wait, wait. We can't discuss this in an open environment. Dad! I'll be back. I love you, Mikey. Mom! I need to think. There's frozen mini pizzas in the fridge. If you need me, the wagon wheel's in the phone book. That's where I'll be. You two boys be good. Everything's gonna be fine. You look really foxy tonight, Mrs. B. Ow! Ow! Shot of Jack, Heath, please. Can I get you a chaser? You're Mikey Bronker's mom, right? Linda? Brian Ross. Like the clothing store. And the sheriff? Yeah, he's my daddy. Old Milwaukee's, please. Thank you. Hey, he wanted me to follow him in his footsteps, but I can't do that. Why's that? I'm a rebel. Yeah? So what do you do? I manage Mr. Snack out of Route 13 West. You hiring? For my son. Oh, and I heard about that arrest from old Ricky Kenworthy. He's our fry cook. Corporate don't allow us to hire boys with criminal records. Sorry. Maybe I should apply. Or their families. Can I tell you something, Linda? I think you're hotter than donut grease. Does your girlfriend know you talk like this to strange women? We broke up. Did you just break up when you sat down here to talk to me? No, you see, younger women, uh, they're, they're bland as, as, as white pie, no seasoning, like <laughs> spiced apple. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say after you're done screwing me? Men don't want one kind of pie, they want them all. Oh, that's how it is, is it? Yeah. See this? A few months back, the love of my life dumped me, got married, and called me the biggest fucking loser in the tri-state area. Mm -hmm. One of only nine women I've been with in my whole life, and she still has the other half of my heart. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry for bothering you, Linda. I'll order that drink for you and get out of your hair. <clears throat> Could you get another Jack Daniels down here, please? Thanks a lot. I'll leave you alone. Brian, stay in your seat. Mm. Hey, man, there's that son of a bitch that fired your mom. Oh, yeah? Mr. Duran? You know, I bet he's going off to Delaware again, man. People with money are always going to foreign countries. 
Mikey, if Grandpa Ron represents us, you'll be able to stay out of jail and go to college. But he's gonna need a retainer, and you're gonna need tuition. All right? Now, who better to get that money from than the people who owe it to your family the most? We just lie back and let rich assholes like the Durans take big steaming shits on our tummies. Lenny, when you use metaphors like that, it makes people think you have real problems. Mikey, I admit it, okay? I fucked up your life, I admit it. But listen, I swear to you that I will unfuck it. And a lake never breaks his promises. What a bunch of crap. The hell are we gonna steal? Well, I'll start with that. Here, I'll take this. Yes, yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, with the candies. All right. Hey, hey, look at this. Listen, go in the bedroom, I'm gonna go in the kitchen. Hey, check for some china. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do this, Mackie? You want to go to jail? Mrs. B, can I just say something? Going into a trial with no lawyer is like going into a whorehouse with no lawyer. Lenny? Heart. Look, Mom, what we intended on doing was going into Mrs. Duran's trailer, stealing the jewelry, and then going down to the flea market, selling it so we could make money for our lawyer. You got $30 worth of costume jewelry here and some nail polish and the contents of a candy dish. <laughs> Mrs. B, there's some rare gems there. They sell this stuff on the Home Shopping Channel. Oh, no, Mrs. B, this is gold. It's bold gold. It ain't worth nothing. If you're so interested in stealing, why don't you take their cash? We couldn't find any. Did you check a cookie jar or a coffee can up in the cupboard? Well, you're going to have to take this stuff right back. Right this second. Oh, too late, Mrs. B. The Durans came home. Mikey, go to your room. Yes, you can stay the night. Thank you. Good night, Mom. You know, Mom, if you want to keep any of this stuff, I understand. Jewelry has a way of adding to a woman's self-esteem. Mrs. B. What's this? 
That's four hundred and twenty-two dollars, Mom. Oh, Mrs. B, those people in Carbondale will buy anything. I mean, what a bunch of hicks. <laughs> Mom, now we called Ron and made an appointment. Yeah, he just said to us, uh, bring in any amount of money that you get, and he will do the case <clears throat> for pro bono, which uh, is Spanish for half price. No, Lenny, it's Latin for free. And Carbondale's just a few miles from here. What if somebody who knows you saw you? Hey, did Dad come home? No, sweetie. Mikey, hey, what's going on, buddy? Lenny Lake, right? Hmm. What'd you do to your, uh... Mmm, something smells good. What'd you guys get me? It's cereal, motherfucker. Lenny, watch your mouth. Mom! You just screwed a guy who kicked our asses every day after football practice. Yeah, well, you know, that was a long time ago, and I apologize. They don't give him no right to call me no motherfucker. Hmm. Although last night, technically, I guess, uh, <laughs> Darren. Yeah, well, that Doran's trailer got burgled last night in about 2,200 hours. Did you see or hear anything? Come over. I didn't hear anything or see anything, but then again, I did have a pair of thigh earmuffs on, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <sighs> These boys, they got good over here, and uh, if you want, I'll keep an eye on them for you. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you just make sure you're not wearing a bra patch when you do? Excuse me? Excuse me? Well, I was just... Get the hell out of here. Brian, get the hell out of here. Go. Get... Tell my daddy. God damn it. So... Guess we're a team. I want you all to meet my new wife. This here is Sandy Lake. Leonard, say hi to your grandma. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> hi, Sandy. Hi, Brian. You look so good. So do you. <laughs> miss you so much. Did you miss me? What was that? We, uh... Son, you're talking to a married woman. I used to go out. Well, she's married now to a man who takes her to the Virgin Islands and gives her anything her little heart desires. Now, why in the fuck would she miss you and your itty-bitty swinging dick? Now, would you ease up, Ron? We're just friends now. Tell me that. Can you answer that question, this boy? This guy needs to take a chill pill. I'm getting a corn dog. Excuse me? Oh, oh. Ron! Ron, you stop to me, it. little piece of feaky. My wife don't need your friendship. She don't need no midnight chats with you on the bus or walks in the antique shop. She don't need nothing from you. You understand that? Huh? You got that? Darling, listen. Stay away from this. Honey, you know I love you. It's just that I get a little crazy from time to time. Here, why don't you go shopping? I don't want your money. Taking the money, Carla, tonight. So, dickhead, what do you think of your grandmother's ass? Oh, it's really nice, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm sorry to drag you all into my private affairs. How about I treat you all to a bag of waffles? You too, bud. You and I can be friends. 
Come on, boy. Keep your enemies close, man. Keep them close. <laughs> Too much. Being a man is rightful wage is a sign of respect and commitment. Without that little token, my resolve to keep these two gorgeous young boys out of prison is weak. We ain't got that kind of money. I just lost my job. You lost your job because you didn't call upon Ron Lake. Now, we both know that your boss, Mr. Dorn, is skimming money from them retired folks. And instead of getting yourself a good lawyer, you decided to go over his head and got your ass fired. Now, I know that because Mr. Doran hired me to rep him. Now, listen up here. When a man steals from retired people, he opens himself up to the possibility of being stolen from and that crime going unreported. Stolen from by an ex-employee. It's kind of a Robin Hood kind of thing. Leonard, hand me that money. This? Yeah. Now, you four have just paid me to be your lawyer. And any discussions we've had about that robbery come under the attorney-client privilege. What robbery? Ron just suggested we rob an old age home. Now, that's bullshit, smartass. I suggested you all rob the head of the old age home. You can? What kind of lawyer are you? Mackie, don't talk with your mouth full. Smart ass. Every educated person knows that the U.S. Constitution was written on stolen parchment. You want to know what kind of lawyer I am? That's the kind of lawyer I am. Now, you look after Ron Lake. Ron Lake's gonna look after you. Bye, Grandpa. That old man wants us to steal to pay his legal fees? What a coot. What do you, what do you mean, us, jerk off? He was looking at Mike and me. You boys ain't doing any crimes alone no more. Yeah, especially without some muscle. Next muscle? Time. He just got beat up by an old man. Yeah. Hey, I swallowed my chew. And I'm not talking about that kind of muscle. I'm not... I'm talking about this kind of muscle. We're not using guns. Jesus, save me. I want you to work with the boys. Well, I'm not taking orders from Ron. Lenny, you're taking orders from me. What? Now... You two are smart. I know if you put your minds to something, you'll succeed. But you're gonna get yourselves put in jail if you keep on doing stupid things like stealing from the next dirt neighbors without even checking to see if their dog was home. Mom, you don't have to dwell on that. I'm sorry, honey. But we're gonna do this together. Mrs. B, I think that's awesome. I think that's titties. Hold on a second. It's not awesome or titties. It's ridiculous. I am not robbing someplace with my mother. Why not? Because you're a housewife. Son, have you been paying attention? Your father left me. I am not a wife, and we live in a trailer, not a house. For your information, my life is in the toilet. Except for one thing. One thing gets me out of bed in the morning. Do you know what that one thing is? Alcohol? I have a son who's going to college. You ain't going to live in a trailer. You're going to live in a dorm, then an apartment, and then a house. Mom, I love you. Me too, Mrs. B. Me too, Linda. All right. Anybody want to go bowling?
fuck your mom was a brunette. Shut up, Lenny. Okay, I go to Duran's office with the cash. You guys are supposed to check the uh, ambulatories, make sure they don't set any alarms, cause any problems, okay? Meet you two pillow batters back here in 10. Fuck, fuck you. you. Ow! Rockin' job. Yeah, it's fine. No. No, it's better than fine. You've got to tell her you appreciate her, man. Divorce is hard on you. Hey, don't tell me how hard it is, okay? Ross could end up being my dad. Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. This is real. Look at the sweep on the second, look at the sweep on the second hand. That's smooth. Put it back. Man, why do old people always have the best stuff? I mean, I don't understand it. They don't ever use it for anything. They drive eight-cylinder cars like they got three. They have wicked watches, and they don't have any appointments. Put it back. What the hell did you just do? I'm not gonna let someone put his hands on the... What did you just say? I don't, I don't know. Nothing, Mom, okay? We gotta go. Let me tell you something. I thought I raised my son better than that. I thought I raised a boy who believed in equality. Oh, Mom, I do. I said it in the heat of the moment, okay? I don't really feel that way. Oh, God, Mom, the alarm, let's go! Come on! Did you ever even stop and think that you just said the most hateful, mean word for people of color? Let's go, I got the money, let's go! What happened, Michael? You apologize right now for saying the N-word. I'm sorry. You have to mean it. Mom, I mean it. I'm not racist. I'm sorry. Miss B, I believe you said it by accident. You didn't mean it. Yeah, you know, we should probably get going. I'm not going to be able to talk my way out of this one. You're grounded, with the exception of your trial. Where's your money? Well, I hope you save some for yourself. Enough for college tuition and expenses. Well, smart ass. You're about to find out whether you're going to college or to jail. How do you feel? Well, to be honest, I'm filled with angst. Well, I for one are hoping he's going to college. Because if you use a word like angst in prison, there's going to be a five-car pileup on your Hershey Highway. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You're gonna be with him. Oh, hell, ain't anybody going to jail. Michael, I understand that college pussy is very expensive. First semester's on me. Thank you. That'll go towards textbooks. If he needs pussy, it'll have to be pro bono. Mama's a delight. Thank you, honey. I heard your husband left you. I am so sorry. Sometimes the best way to deal with depression is to drink. Well... I'm dealing with my depression in my own way. I'd like to propose a toast to that great American institution, the family. As the captain said, love will keep us together. Let's get right at it, shall we? Counselor Lake, how do you plead? Oh, we plead uh, guilty, Your Honor, to petty theft. Judge, the state recommends a fine of $250 and 12 months probation. Well, oh, great. Let the record reflect that the defendants plead guilty to crime petty theft and uh, $250 fine and 12 month probation. This is not justice, and there will be no peace. Shut up! You boys, let's Next go day. out of here. That was it? That was it, son. We're free, man. You guys are off, Grandpa. We do no jail time. Ron. Under those terms, the charges are on their record. They break probation for any offense. They go to jail. Well, it's a lesser charge, and they're not going to break probation. Wait, it's on my record? Son, it's shoplifting. Nobody cares about a chicken shit charge like shoplifting. 
Now the next thing you'll be bitching about how short the trial was. You paid me good money, I did my job. I think what you're really trying to say is thank you, Ron Lake. I thank you, Grandpa Ron. My boy don't go to college, you're gonna hear from me. Number 38, your chili mac is up. We need more cheese food. Well, who the hell let the cheese food slice bin go empty? Why don't you go back I... there and get another lock? I told you I ain't picking that shit up. Thanks for coming. Damn it. Well, tell Abusi I'm gonna check the reefer. Asshole. Hey, let's stop listening to this junkie. Let's listen to some Garth. God damn it. Agua caliente con soap suds, Enrique. Damn. Disrespect me. And I'll break it off and beat you with it. Cheese food. Looking for something? Jesus, Cindy. What the hell are you doing in the basement of the Mr. Snack? I like private places. And I wanted to see you. Oh, God, baby, me too. <laughs> Doesn't all this bore the fuck out of you? No, I love kissing you. No, I mean, I mean, working here. I mean, why'd you stop stealing? We got enough money for Ron. Well, what about us? Us? Are you in love with Linda Bronco? No, we're just friends. Friends at fuck? Well, I was at the bar one night and... Ryan, it doesn't even matter. That's not what this is about. I am sick and tired of Ron. I want to be with you. I want us to be together. I want to get some money in our pockets, run away, and start a family. A family? Yes. Look. What? Can't you tell? I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm four months and you ain't even showing. Let's make one big score. Let's clean out the Mr. Snack and run away. One big score? Sandy, I, I can't have you talking like that. If, uh... If what? God damn it, if you're gonna be my wife, that's the right thing to do if we're gonna have a family. Brian, if you were gonna be a father, you have to be willing to do anything for your son. Family's all that matters. Oh, Brian, I know you weren't a loser. Mm -hmm. All right, the letter. Crimes of moral turpitude, what's that supposed to mean? It means that I'm a criminal and Southern Illinois University doesn't accept criminals. Lenny, give me an application to truck driving school. That's where I'll be going in the fall. You are not going to trucking school, you are going to college. Mrs. B, you know, you are one of the finest mothers that I've ever had the pleasure of knowing. Oh, that's sweet, Lenny. You also have one of the finest racks on any woman over 30. Lenny, Lenny, Lenny. If you're gonna compliment a woman, do it from your heart, not your pecker. Sorry. Well, I guess I better be going. I haven't been home in three months. Better make sure they ain't moved. <laughs> hey, Mrs. B, you know, I was sort of thinking, public schools like, like SIU, 
they're real hard to get into, you know, with all the rules and stuff. But regular universities like the, like University of Chicago, I mean, they're real easy to get into. They just cost five times as much. Anyway, see you in the morning, Mr. B. I'll see you in the morning. <sighs> should call first. Yeah, you should have. Well, Linda, I was just wanted to talk to you about a few things, you know, about our relationship and all. And uh, it's not you, but... Are you breaking up with me? Yeah, Linda, I'm afraid so. Well, you can't. Why not? We're not dating. We slept together once, and frankly, you weren't that good. Okay. So, you want to be friends? No. Hi. Brian. I've been thinking about stealing again. God, Linda. Me too. I am thinking the exact same thing. Look, I have never felt so strongly about something in my whole life. Listen, Linda, I happen to work at a place where they don't do bank deposits. The Mr. Snack keeps their cash right on the premises. You think we could get $40,000 in one shot? Weekend night, after a game, easily. Linda, let's do this. So everybody knows the plan. Don't use names, just numbers. Mike is number one, Lenny's two, Brian's number three, and I'm number four. Look, we can use this to blow up the safe. Clay dough? No, we'll see. What I did is I mixed the contents of three M80s up into this. So all you have to do is stick this to the safe, and then stick the fuse in, and then light it, and then boom, open oh. safe. <laughs> That's very clever, Lenny. Good Thanks. work. But I'd like Brian to deal with the safe. <laughs> but I thought I was in charge of explosives. Get back. Lenny, I want you to stay up front with me as my protector. Huh. Huh. Good plan, Mrs. B. Hey, you didn't get into college, Mikey. Blow me. Mikey will be enrolling in the University of Chicago and taking psychology classes in the fall. I will be doing none of the above. You will be doing all of the above. Now, I'm not busting my butt with these robberies so you can go to some trucking school. I mean, no offense, Lenny, but it's a fine profession. I'm taking. How can I be a family counselor when the only goddamn family I have is not only dysfunctional, but criminal? Uh, hello, Mikey. God's last name is not damned. Am I right, Mrs. B? So you're just giving up on your dreams, that it? Stop playing games when you should be studying the house plans. Mom, I can't believe you just hit me. Then do what she says, dumbass. Why don't you fuck yourself in the ass, Let Ross? It. Yeah. No! What? Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus, save me. Jesus. Jesus. Let us stop aiming that thing. What, it's just plastic. Maybe it could poke someone's eye out. some class. There's girls working here. I'm gonna go open the safe. Hey, apologies to number one and number four. Excuse me, Susie. Susie, would you do me a favor and put a couple of burgers in a bag, please? Yes, ma'am. Number four, is that for the ride home? Because if it is, I want a hot apple pie and curly fries. You want anything else, number one? Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take chicken nuggets and the Banana shake. Susie, don't give him a shake. They make him nauseous when we drive. I'll take that shake, thank you, Susie. Would you give him a scratch, please? We'll, Susie! We only have mellow yellow man. That's fine. 
that's fine. Mom, I wish you wouldn't do that. Hey, number one, do not speak to number four in that tone of voice. Oh, do you want to go on and go? Come on. Come on. No fighting during the robberies. He started it. Don't be embarrassed. She's just trying to be a mama. I know how that is. What's your baby's name? Julia. Okay, take this. It's for Julia. I still see you back there. Uh, girls, would you do me another favor? You know that tall boy with the ski mask on? Number three. Would you tell him we gotta go now, please? Thank you so much. combination to the safe. You're the assistant freaking manager. If you don't know, they're not gonna tell us. Don't talk to me like that. Okay, okay, maybe we can guess it. That is the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard. How are you gonna guess the combination to a safe? It's not stupid, I read it in a book. Oh, what would oh. be a natural choice for Mr. Labusi to pick as a combination? What do you know uh, about him? He hates Jews. Oh, and he likes Hank Williams. Uh, when's Hank Williams' birthday? Come on, Susie, come uh, on! Okay! September 17, 1923. Thank you. Nine. Number three! Seven. No. Uh, didn't he die on New Year's Day? 1953. Thank you. Number three, move your ass! Oh! Oh! Jesus oh. Christ oh. almighty! Oh. Tell anyone what you just saw, and I'll tell your parole officer that you're still doing crystal. I ain't. Oh yeah, well who are they gonna believe? Me or you? My daddy's a sheriff. Ha! Get to the front. Now. Go! <laughs> oh. 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 Five for me, one for them, three for me. Well, for them. Okay. Uh, number three. Oh. Number three. But, oh. Moose, what the oh. hell are you doing out here? Oh, I just threw up. Bad fish. In the grease trap. Yeah. Come on, Bad man. Fish. We gotta go. Okay. Come on. Yeah. All right. Open the safe? Yeah, how did the plastique work for you? Great. Ross. What? What the fuck? What? Number one, call him number three, and number two, watch your language. Hurry up, we gotta go. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Mom! Mom, are you all right? I'm okay, honey. Let's just get out of here. Oh, shit. Ah, 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 oh, my God! Ah, God! Ah. Sorry. Ah, ah, ah. I'm really sorry, Linda. I ran into some trouble in the back. Ross, why is there only a couple thousand in the bag? I don't know. I guess they had a slow night. Yeah, well, that means we can't make Max tuition now. What the hell took you so long in the office? Well, one of the Susies was hitting on me. Susie with a Y or Susie with an I? Why? Stop it, Mikey. Get in the car. Now. Ryan, Come on. get in the back hell seat. Let Come me on. Too. Gordon over here. Shut up. Lena, you burned that boy bad. He started it by throwing his ninja star. I don't care who started it. That was a wrong thing to do. How do you think that boy's mom and dad are gonna feel when he shows up with second degree burns on his face and neck? Kim, we're the own one. That's right. You don't know. I just want you to sit there a while and think about your actions. Yeah, well, Ross was dicking around forever This back is then. not about Brian Ross. This is about Leonard Lake. I'm sorry.
Sorry, Mike. See, Andy, I did it. The money's in the grease trap. Behind Mr. Snack, get it, baby. Okay, we'll leave at the end of the week. You gotta get it. It's behind him, Mr. Snack. In the alley. <laughs> Bells. <laughs> gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Hey, Leonard, smartass, just the guys I wanted to see. Oh, the garden looks amazing, Grandpa. <laughs> Welcome to Grandpa Ron's men's den. Have yourself a seat, boys. Here, you want one? Aspirin? Yeah, it thins the blood. Go for the ticker. Boys, why did the chicken Walk funny when he was crossing the road. Why, why, why? <laughs> because he just came out of a meeting of the Man Chicken Love Association. <laughs> <laughs> How do you come up with these things, Grandpa? Well, it's a gift, dickhead. It's a joke gift. Yeah, I hope you saved the receipt. You know, I was reading an interesting story in the paper this morning. Front page stuff, just below the fold. It seems four mysterious individuals wearing ski masks robbed the local Mr. Snack of $200,000. $200,000? Grandpa, we never got anywhere near that kind of money. Mm, I mean, we got no. maybe like uh, three or 4000 out of the cash register. Yeah, and we also only got like 2000 out of the safe. Either one of you boys got a calculator? No, no, I can do that in my head. No, 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 no. I just want to try and figure out how many times you all are going to be butt-fucked in the federal penitentiary. The amount of money you stole or was stolen from you is grand theft. I could be an accessory to that crime. No, wait, but you're our lawyer. The they... trial is over, shit for brains. Wait, but you're my grandfather. They, they can't arrest you for that, can they? You boys ever been in love with a woman? Yeah. yeah. Someone other than Pamela Anderson. No, not who? You want to know what it feels like to be in love with someone and have that someone be fucking someone else? It's like having a rat in your stomach chewing and crawling its way through all your organs, stopping only long enough to shit and piss and laugh at you. And that rat gets up into your heart and stays there, sometimes for years, sometimes forever. A good piece of ass is the most dangerous thing in the world. If you find one, boys, do me a favor and run from it. We're gonna find all of that money, and we're gonna split it 50-50. 50 to you, dickhead, and 50 to you, smartass. Yeah, well, what about Ross? I'm glad you brought him up. Brian Ross has got to die. You want us to kill Brian Ross? Won't that break our probation? Mr. Lake, you're talking about murdering the son of a cop. I don't give a fuck if he's the son of Frankenstein. Do you want your mother to be molested by pissed off dyke cellmates with broom handles? Now, I realize you and your mother have a dream, a dream that you go to college and become a family counselor. Leonard here, he has a dream, too, to get a fancy car and eventually get laid. Now, I got a place in St. Croix, the Virgin Islands. My dream is to retire there with that little night fighter right on my side. And I ain't letting no fucking son of Frankenstein fuck up my retirement. Now, you boys do this job for me. We're all going to realize our dreams. Wow. A 1978 Chevy Monte Carlo. Got a 350 under that hood with chrome valve covers and a Custom steering wheel. It's also got Eagle Brock air filters, a B&M shifter, and FR4805 aluminum wheels, huh? <laughs> now, Sandy drives it once in a while, but it's not a young lady's car. This is a young man's ride. What's that for? Registration. Did you say registration? Did I stutter? Can't you tell? Gentlemen, this is yours if you do that job for me. <gasps> 
And if you can't get laid out of this car, you got to be two of the biggest faggots in the tri-state area. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna do? Look at things. Study for the trucking test. But, but we have to get back the Mr. Stack money. Uh, damn it, he's cheating on your mom. I I'm not just gonna watch some jock asshole spend my best friend's tuition money to fuck my grandmother. All right, so maybe we can't kill Brian Ross. But what if we scare him into telling us where the money is? Okay, listen. Now, Ron said he wanted him dead, but he didn't say, like, bring me his head or nothing, right? So, we go over to Brian's house with the guns, and we tell him to g get out of town, never come back, and then we take his clothes and throw them in the river, and we burn down his trailer. So that way, the police will think that he died in the fire, or drowned, or both. What are you boys talking about? Nothing. nothing. Hmm. How about some miniature golf? Oh, no, we're going to be busy. We've seen a movie. <laughs> Nothing violent. Okay, Mrs. B. All right, Mom. So? He's probably talking to one of his stupid cop friends, you know, saying, uh, huh, I'm such a rebel that I not only robbed my place of employment, but also the two dumbasses who assisted me in said robbery. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe he's talking to one of his poker buddies, and he's saying, I pre I've performed over a hundred unnatural acts of sex with one of the finest women in Sunrise, Linda Bronco, even though it is true that my dick is so diseased it looks like the surface of Mars. She still took it. All right! Lenny, God damn it, I'll get the picture. Jesus. Sorry. Hey, Mikey. Do you remember the eighth grade? Fifth period dodgeball? A certain senior walked in on our class and beamed you so hard in the back of the head that you were singing double for the rest of that day? Do you, do you remember who that senior was? Mikey? Above all else, man. For fifth period dodgeball. Yeah. Where'd you say you left the uh, money? No shit. That is genius. Really? Really? Tell you two monkeys down here. Ross? You screwed us and our families, okay? So if you don't tell us where the money is right now, we're gonna we're gonna kill you till you're dead. Let me tell it to him. Brian, what you did was wrong, okay? Sleeping with an older woman shows me that you still feel a sense of abandonment from your mother. Abandonment issues which could be accompanied with latent homosexuality. <laughs> Hold on. Now, stealing this money could be your way of acting out in the frustrations from the fact that. Maybe you're gay. So give us the money and you'll feel much, much better. You are fucking me! Ah! <sighs> 
guys that might be involved. Sure, so baby, please don't go. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Right after the cheerleading squad in high school, they said, we're looking for someone just like Linda Nelson. She was the best captain we ever had. I saw pictures of your fat ass in the trophy box every goddamn day at school. You weren't all that. Now you fucked my boyfriend and he's in the hospital. Bitch, expect to pay. I was visiting a client in jail. Now, if I was in the Jacksonville County lockup when this dick liquor was shot, how can I be held responsible for it? We are inquiring about the possibility of a solicitation. Right in there. If I was to find out that you was even in possession of a gun, having previously been convicted for a felony, well, hell, that wouldn't be too good, would it? All right, my pizza's here. <laughs> I don't know. What the boys got? I do not know. I think they got pepperoni. Kyle, I told you I don't eat anything with the face on it. Get the goddamn pieces out of here. We're doing an interrogation. Please. God right. damn it. Now these are for the boys. Now, Mr. Lake, we're just trying to get the facts straight here. The facts? Yeah, well, I've been a lawyer for nine and a half years. I never heard so many goddamn stupid questions being asked over and over again. Especially when you've been getting the same stupid answers back. Well, now, here's the thing. The questions are the same. But it's your answers that keep getting different. Do you want to hear the tape? Thank you very much. You know, I was home all night long, okay? So, uh, you can even ask my parents, they'll tell you. We, uh, talked to your parents several times about your whereabouts. And around the fourth time, they recognized your name. I ain't talking without my lawyer. I think I need my lawyer. <clears throat> you know, I haven't eaten all day. I'm, I'm really hungry. Sure is good pizza. We'd love to give you some, but uh, if you want to wait for your lawyer. <laughs> yeah, it would be rude to eat without your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were there. I'm sorry, what was that song? We were there! Oh, damn. Confusing that thought. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> Judge, I want this asshole. And I'd like to know that you're on my side. What asshole, Lake? He scared these kids into keeping quiet. He made it clear that if they go to jail, they're gonna get their throat slit. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm not Captain America. Nice. Man, I shouldn't even be having this conversation with you. All rise, this court is now in session. The Honorable Judge William J. Pike presiding. Please come to order. Take off that hat. Uh, sit down. Gentlemen. I gave you 12 months probation. I don't know what happened in that trailer to get this boy shot without either of you pulling the trigger. But from the information filed against you, you are both facing some serious prison time. Now, as to your relationship with your grandfather. I object, Your Honor. I haven't seen this young man in months. In fact, he's estranged from our entire family. Blake, this is not a trial, you moron. It's an arraignment. Get out of my courtroom! Bail is $25,000 each. Mrs. Bronco, I asked you to keep your eyes on these boys. Have you? Yes, sir, I did. Well, this is a small town. People talk. I prefer to listen. I hear that you are not now currently employed. Well, the new management at the retirement home is hiring me back, sir. Nevertheless, I hear that unemployment has been very good to you. Your grocery bill has doubled, paid your bar tab, trucking school tuition, and hired the services of a bail bondsman. Now, I I've been watching these proceedings. You know, it's not my job to comment. 
but I will. Now, why do you suppose the sheriff has a hard-on for your boys, the state's attorney has a hard-on for your lawyer, but nobody has called attention to the fact that a woman with your body type closely resembles that of a lady involved in a burger restaurant robbery? Linda Nelson Bronco, I have a hard-on for you. You took money from Ron Lake to kill Ryan? Mom, we were only trying to scare him. Oh, you scared him all right. And yeah, you scared me too. I look at you too, and I'm scared. I want my son back. What? I want my son back. And his best friend. I want you to be teenagers. And I want to be a normal mother. I want to bake brownies and go to tractor pulls. Look at the mess we're goddamn in. Come on, let's get out of here. Hey, Ron. My son and your grandson tell me you uns had a deal. There was no deal. They did a job for you, and they were supposed to be paid, and they did not get paid. They fucked the job up. Well, we're going to give you the chance to fulfill your obligations. And we're going to give you a reasonable alibi by taking your car and the Mr. Snack money. We're going to make it seem like we robbed you, Grandpa. You are robbing me, dickhead. Ron, where's the money? I believe your old boyfriend stole the money. My old boyfriend. He only has one brain, and I know where he keeps it, and I know it isn't very big. So my question to you is, where did your wife put my son's college money? I believe she hid it inside the trailer. Now, if you point that gun elsewhere, I'll go in there and help you find it. No need. We'll just take the trailer with us. Hey, Miss B. Hmm? What say we leave some sort of a signature to this crime? You know, let the police know we really did it. And what'd you have in mind? I was thinking maybe we could use the rest of them M80s and blow the shit out of a beer can garden. That'll be fine, Lenny. You're out of the will, Lenny. At this farm and I'm doing no calling, it sounds like the middle of the world. Here. Keep that blood stain. Good for the ticker. Cried out of this fall, and I'm hearing them calling. It sounds like the end of the world. Out of this fall, I'm hearing them calling. It sounds like the end of the world. Ducky sucker. Ross's room. Sandy! So you found me, big deal. Sandy, they blew up my beer garden. 
So what? Stole our car. They stole our trailer. What? They blew, up, they blew up my beer garden. Stop talking, old man. Tell me they did not take my trailer. They took our trailer. I'm gonna kill them. No, no. You know what? You're not gonna do a damn thing because I'm gonna take care of this myself, you stupid son of a bitch. I promise you I will take care of this and a lake never breaks her promises. Everybody that you and Linda robbed from. I'm gonna plan a little reunion. Oh, can you get that? Right. I'll get it. <laughs> Mr. Snatch, our buns are open all night. <laughs> I'll be right there.
Everybody just relax. And stay right where you are. Anybody want a drink? Car. I'm healed. Yeah, I can see that. No, I... I mean, I found Jesus. I think that's great. I have something for you. Mikey and Lenny await you. I'm gonna stay here. I have work to do. I'm now the, uh ministry leader at the female portion of the prison. Why doesn't that surprise me? You're truly blessed, Linda. God bless you. Jesus loves you! This I know for the Bible. Dear Mom, sorry I haven't written sooner, but we are on the land. A good lawyer is a bad enemy to have. So we made sure Sheriff Ross got the evidence he needed to put Ron Lake away. A snakeskin receipt book, where he kept all his illegal firearm transactions. Now Ron Lake had good instincts about knowing when to run, and unfortunately for him, so did the Sunrise Police Department. Mr. Lake, there's been a slight change in your itinerary. Take them away. Come on. Let's get up. Bring your bags with you. Come on. Walk it off. Lenny made us some disguises, as well as fake IDs. Leonard Lake easily changed to Ronald Lake. Four tickets to St. Croix. Lenny's a Ronald Lake with a Y. Ron had a trial with an audience. Notable is WWF champion Popeye Jim Bronco. Wrestling is very popular with prisoners, and Dad used his celebrity position to make sure Ron was, uh, taken care of in prison. Sandy Lake was also convicted. Sandy has a lot of anger management problems, and the prison authorities thought a little religious counseling would help. And then keep him, right? And then, uh, and then, then, oh, here's the whole story of Noah and the Ark, and they were out on there for, like, weeks, you know? And... Dad once said that people are poor because they think poor. St. Croix in the beachfront property we now own has a way of adjusting one's way of thinking, and so does becoming a parent. Susie's a great mother, and I'm enjoying being a father. Lenny's also taken to the married life. I'm getting my degree in family counseling from the University of the Virgin Islands, and now I understand a little bit more about the kind of parent you were. Though my colleagues might disagree, I believe you are the best mother a guy could ask for. Welcome home. Got it. 
Another day creeps on by and I'm spinning my wheel. 